So guys, this is a bit of an unusual one. It's um, built on, seems to be like a private site. Uh, we're in the village of Castle Lyons, and um, so there's a huge ruin of a castle. It looks a bit like Castle Moore Castle in um, Ovens County Cork, very close to where I live. But um, it, it's massive. It's not in such a great shape, and it's also located behind this factory. So, um, not sure um, I can actually get to it, but um, there is a site here, and um, it says there's cameras everywhere, so I'm just standing behind the gate. And uh, what's interesting here, actually, just um, there's this 12 trees, they were planted, and they are trees of remembrance. And um, they're planted um, to honor people's past, present, and future. And um, so people like Thomas McCarthy, Charles Plunkett, James Connolly, Thomas Clark, all um, Irish heroes. And uh, so you can see um, what this kind of uh, place looks like on the village. There's a big um, sports ground there. It's a nice, tidy village again. And, um, yeah, it's a shame, you know, but you never really know when you get to the sites what to expect. And I guess this is the part <laughs> what I sort of, it's like a surprise, you know, it's like getting a box of something and, you know, subscription boxes are very popular now. <laughs> this is my subscription box. I subscribe to exploring ruins and castles and I go there and there's not an awful lot of information about them usually online because I, you know, I guess there's not that many people interested in them. But uh, it's my version of escapism on a nice day just to go see and uh, discover the history. So just a few minutes ago we passed this place, Castle Hyde. And um, do you know what? It's uh, where Michael Flatley, the Irish River uh, dance sensation, of course, uh, used to, he used to own this place and he restored it. It's very close, like it's literally around the corner from Fermoy village in North Cork. And uh, it was his home for a long time. Um, but he sold it. He sold it to um, Unification Church, I believe. And um, for about 20 million. So it's a huge, um, Castle Hyde is a huge estate and it was a home to a first Irish president and it dates back to 1760. Of course it's a huge estate but it, it's not actually a castle, it's more like a manor home and it was restored. Um, it was fully restored so when Michael Flatley bought it, it wasn't really um, it's all gated and I couldn't really get close to it to take pictures or anything but I'm going to put up some information on the Castle Hyde if any of you are interested in visiting Cork area. Um, 2015 he sold it and there's an awful lot of castles and homes in this area of Cork so there's a um, corner castle, one I'm trying to uh, go and see today if possible. <laughs> and, uh, this looks like, this is adjacent to our ruin of a castle in Castle Lions, but it looks like a old mill. There's um, two other tourists here, it looks from the uh, United States, and they are also keen to explore this ruin of the castle, and they can get to it, and uh, might go and have a chat. <laughs> They're trying to get in. <laughs> So uh, not great that we didn't go to see the castle so much, but this is a priory or abbey, uh, pretty much the same thing, and it's also in uh, Castle Lyons, just up the road actually, and there's quite a lot here, Castle Lyons Village Park, this is a little pub, uh, it's a really once kind of a main street place, there tells you everything around it. Priory is a ruin, of course, but it um, looks like there's a few standing walls. It shows you the cloister, the embolatory kitchen, the refectory, the nave, tower. Yeah. There you go. 
So definitely happy um, we stopped here in Castle Lines and uh, next we're gonna go to a corner but uh, just want to see a bit more of this priory and take a few shots. It's quite big actually. Amazing. It's nice to see people actually visiting as well. Little Americans. It's nice to explore. The battery is about to die. But uh, there. You know, I hope I covered a little bit of Castle Lions. And actually people behind us told us that their family name, name is Lions. So that's why they stopped here. So another ancestry search. You know, it's nice to see people visiting areas and uh, discovering their roots. Irish roots, of course.